What's up guys, it is Pipeline Day and we are here with some brand new products. We're not gonna have any in our hands, but we're gonna be showing you every product that they release. They have some new exciting stuff for not just mechanics, but for construction guys, DIYers, everything that you can think of. So guys, stay tuned for this video because this is some exclusive content that you're not gonna see anywhere else. All right, guys, we're back. Like we said, it's Pipeline Day, and Connor and I, actually, we get really excited about this stuff. We do, we because, do. Because, like, the anticipation builds all year. They release this thing called Pipeline, and they invite a lot of influencers there, and we don't get invited, right? We don't. We it's... don't get invited, guys, because we sell tools, but we know a few people in the industry, and we know a lot of influencers. So, guys, we got a little bit of the inside track. So, like Connor said earlier in the intro, this is gonna be a lot of pictures, but we're gonna tell you a lot of stats and, and uh, figures about what these tools right here are. So, I don't know where I don't know where to start. I think we should just get right into it. So, let's pop up a picture of a brand new saw. So, let's pop up a picture of a brand new saw. They have a brand new saw out th that is a uh, fuel saw. It is the most powerful seven and a quarter inch saw out there. It's, fa it's the fastest cutting saw for a seven and a quarter saw out there. It's nearly one pound lighter than the previous generation. Right. So, a few things about this too. So, the run times on this. So, on a 12.0 battery, you're gonna get 750 cuts per the charge. Um, the best thing about this, so it's one pound lighter as the previous generation, like Matt said. But guys, all of these, most of these tools that you're gonna be seeing coming from Milwaukee are the new generations of the tools. So it outperforms all of its competitors, as you can see on these graphs that we're popping up right now. The typical competitor is about 8.7 pounds, but the Milwaukee one is 7.9 pounds. So you're gonna see it's faster, stronger, and it's lighter than any other saw that you see out on the market. Now, I can't wait to get my hands on one of those, man, cause like you I need got one. an old brushless <laughs> saw, and I don't really use it that often, but when I'm cutting through a two by four or something like that, it just really doesn't cut the mustard and yeah. I always like to have the newest stuff out there. Right? And going, since we're talking about saws, one of the biggest things out, we don't have it on this list here in front of us, but the M12 saw that just got released two days ago, someone yeah. posted a picture of it, that's gonna be a very popular seller. They had one out previously, but the new one, let's just pop a picture of it, we're not gonna go into detail about it, but it is bad to the bone as well. And then continuing down the woodworking stuff, this next tool can be used for woodworking, but it can also be used Framers. For framers yeah. or body men or anything like that. There's an application for all these tools in there. So if Matt wants to talk about this sander right here, that's what we'll talk about Guys, next. They released a brand new sander out and we got a picture of it up right now, but this thing is three inch random orbital sander. So all of you body guys that are out there that have ever wanted to get a sander, this is your chance to get. Uh, this has a small surface area. Uh, it's super easy to use. It's got more access, less anti-fatigue. Uh, variable speed trigger. It has an on-off uh, switch for uh, the LED light in case you want to be sanding at night. And uh, I think it's really, it's got an anti-clog deal so it vacuums up. It comes with a bag and stuff like that too. And I think they actually go ahead and give you some of the sanding disc with it, uh, Connor. It sands, uh, has a grit availability from anywhere from 80 grit to 400 grit. Uh, it includes the pad uh, the pad saver and the interface and pad. So, uh, you guys check that picture right there out. That was, that's a pretty cool tool that's gonna change the industry. The guys, we're gonna be able to do pre-order date on this of January 1st, I'm sorry, February, <laughs> July. Hi, July. First, sorry, I've had a lot in my head lately. July the 1st is when we will start being able to take pre-orders. Speaking of any of these tools that we kind of go over here in just a few minutes, uh, we will have these loaded on the website by tomorrow and you will be able to go ahead and pre-order this. If you pre-order soon, we are going to a tool show next week and we will put your name in for that according to how many of you guys pre-order. So um, you guys be sure to check out our website and go ahead and get your name on the list. We're about to get to some of the really, really, really extraordinary, exciting stuff. And I'm gonna let Connor talk about it in just, in just a few minutes. What you got, Connor? So before we continue to the next thing that we're gonna talk about for Matt, this is another sander. So instead of being an M12 sander, they are coming out with a brand new five inch M18 random orbital sander. So if you've had the random orbital sander before, I know I have that one. The battery is in a really awkward spot. Yeah. It's uncomfortable to hold, it's heavy, it's bulky, it's not fun to use. So Milwaukee took that information and they came out with a new style. So it's more of a barrel grip as you see in the picture that we're showing here. But just because they changed the design doesn't mean they're changing power. They're giving you more power actually. So you're gonna get a variable speed of 12,000 to 4,000 RPM rating. 
Um, your diameter is 3 and 32 inch for the Sander Orbital. Um, it's the best in class when it comes to vibration at the max speed. And then you're gonna get the smooth, consistent operation of the tool, just like you do with everything else. And one of the big things is dust collection when it comes to this stuff. So it's actually gonna be able to work with your VacLink stuff, um, your wireless dust collections tools that you already have if you're into that business. And then you're just gonna keep seeing new and exciting things coming from Milwaukee. These are gonna retail for about $200, just like the old one does. But the next big thing that we have to talk about, I think they've already released this officially. I may be wrong by that. Yeah, they did. But we haven't ever talked about this because we didn't see pictures or anything like this. But Matt has some information on this tool that he needs to get out to you. This goes, uh, we're back into screen here. This goes back into the heavy duty industry. So Milwaukee is really coming out with some pretty crazy stuff where they're really changing the industry as far as heavy duty goes. They're, they've been in automotive. I think they've captured that market. Now they're getting into the heavy duty side. And guys, I want to pop a picture up here of of the brushless hydraulic 10,000 PSI pump. So any of you guys that are in a body shop, you might be running uh, a frame machine or you guys are running maybe a Porter Power or you're needing something that is an auxiliary pump. This thing right here is really gonna set the industry off. Uh, it is two times faster than a regular hand pump. It's up to, you spend up to 95% less of your muscle and hand strength, so, um, some of the features on it, it's super lightweight. I mean, I think this thing's gonna be crazy expensive, Connor. I don't really know what it's what it's gonna cost, but I'm sure it's gonna be I'm sure it's gonna be high. I wanna say the last time I saw I may I'll correct myself in the video when I edit it. I wanna say it's roughly about fifteen hundred dollars for Ooh, this tool. Yeah. It's not a cheap tool, but if you need the tool, it's gonna to make your life a game changer when it comes to usability. But the next tool that we have here that we're gonna talk about is one of the tools that we're most excited about. So you've seen the Forge batteries before, but they've revamped them. And Matt, let's, you, I know you have your stats written down, so let's get you Guys, to go ahead and talk the, about this. The, the ever perweighted 12.0 battery is out, okay? The 12.0 battery and also the 8.0 battery. But Connor and I had a little talk today because of what happened with the 2.5 and what happened with the 5.0 and the 12 volt line, the high output, They've changed it in the 18 volt platform. So I think they tested the waters with the 6. Point, the 6.0 forge battery. But guys, if they're producing a 12.0 forge battery, I don't know what that thing's gonna cost, but I'm sure it's gonna be crazy expensive. But what it tells me is that there's gonna be some super heavy duty tools coming out that's gonna uh, rook the 18 volt line. So it has 50% more power. Uh, it's more powerful. It's the most powerful battery of any 18 volt battery out there. It runs 35% cooler. Uh, it charges up to 100% on a speed charger in 45 minutes, and it charges up to 80% in 35 minutes. So those are some of the stats of the 12.0 Forge battery. Uh, some of the stats of the 8.0 pit battery, we're gonna throw that right up here on the screen. It's 20% uh, smaller than the previous 8.0 battery. It's 30% lighter than the 8.0 battery. Um, provides up to 50% more power than the previous 8.0 battery. And it is a, also a patented battery. And I'm gonna come back into screen here. It's a patented battery because one thing we learned when we were at Milwaukee was that when Milwaukee designs their batteries, they actually design their batteries to get wet. Yeah. Not that you're supposed to dip them in water. By any means, don't let me get that wrong, but if you let your battery sit in the back of your truck and they get rained on, it has some patented technology. The casing is actually packed, backed up by a patent and the inside of the unit is backed up by some patents because if the battery were to get wet, it's still meant to perform and run and not corrode and do all those things. And it also has on the 8.0, it has a better cycle life. So all of you guys that are using your 8.0 a whole lot, uh, you'll be able to run through cycles on that thing many, many times. So like the weed eater that is out there, which is a very popular tool for me. I love that weed eater. Uh, you're gonna be able to have that battery for a lot longer than your regular 8.0. So. Uh, I would pick one of those up for sure for myself. So leading into all that, so we're talking about the different usability of the batteries and all that fun stuff. So the power of the Forge batteries that are coming in are giving you brand new, more powerful tools. And something that he talked about was with the M12 platform, the high output batteries, what they're bringing into the line. So this kind of is a big news for the industry. So M12 stubbies that we all know and love, we just had a oh, big yeah. run on them yeah. for 250 foot pounds. That's the torque they're giving out. Milwaukee just released the new half inch and three eighths stubby impact guns yes. in the M12 line. Right. And in that, everyone's like, oh, it's gonna be what? Maybe 50 more foot pounds. Milwaukee went above and beyond and gave you 
500 foot pounds of breakaway torque. So 550, 550 pounds of breakaway torque. That's basically the size of a mid torque. Mid torques are 600. So yeah. you're gonna 650 get 650 in reverse, 600 fast. Yeah. So you're gonna get 550 in reverse on this new M12 Subby impact that you see on the screen here. Four, and then four. 400 forward. So this is gonna give you 3000 RPMs. You're gonna get reduced fatigue because of it being lighter. It's actually got more power. You're gonna get more access in tight spaces. It's 50% faster than the old M12 Subby and it's two times faster and fasting speeds than the old one. So this tool right here that you guys know and love and everyone has sold, this is a game changer. And then a few other things I wanna talk about, I'm gonna pop up these graphs right here, are the stats of this. So it is 50% faster than the closest competitors, the yellow one, and then that tool truck one that everyone knows and loves. And then it's also two and a half pounds lighter than both of theirs. And they're both 18 and 20 volt platforms. I'm just making that known. It's their 18 and 20 volt platform. And Milwaukee's doing a 12 volt platform and it's still 100 foot pounds stronger than the closest competitor and their 18 platform when it comes to a Subby Impact. So this, this is a bad boy. Bring this back into screen, Connor. This thing here is gonna be like the most crazy. This is this tool of all tools is gonna to be probably the biggest deal. And we're probably gonna buy 150 of each of them. Oh yeah, easily. Because if you guys got the old Stubby, you're gonna throw that dude in the trash. It's, it's gone like the old Impact gun. So with the lights on the end of it and the way the lights are on there, um, dude, it's gonna kill the market because that tool is probably the most popular tool of any mechanic that I have out on the road that's actually uses these tools on a daily basis. So it's about time. Good job, Milwaukee. Thank you so much for changing the stubby impact gun. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the old ones, but we can't wait for that tool to actually get here. And just so you know, I did read this on it. This is not a, this is not a new style impact. This is not an introducing, this is just gen two of their stubby. So Milwaukee, yeah. if you know, they like to upgrade a couple, every couple of years, three, four years, they bring a new generation out. This is just the gen two model of the stubby impact gun. So stay tuned for more because if we're doing that with the impacts, what's next? Ratchets, you oh, don't yeah. know what could be exactly. coming down the pipeline. We're gonna get more powerful and everything else exactly. is gonna get more powerful. What you mm -hmm. guys are asking for. All right, now let's move on to party time, which is one of my favorite things <laughs> to do. And that's yes, the job site radio, okay? So the job site radio, and one thing that sucked about the Milwaukee radio before was it didn't have enough bass. Exactly. So guys, we're gonna throw a picture of this radio right up here. The new slim design of the 18 volt radio is absolutely phenomenal. And it has a 3.7, three and a quarter subwoofer in it. So it sounds very, very, very clear. That's what's written in there. If you don't like the way that it sounds, that's okay. It's got a built-in EQ so that you can adjust the settings of whatever you need. If you're in construction and you may not be in the automotive market, it, they actually went a step forth, further. It has a nail hook on the back of it so you can hang that up on a two by four, two by six, whatever you're doing. Here's the crazy part, guys. It has an 18 hour runtime on a 5.0 battery at 100% volume. So you're gonna be able to party all day like a rock star. And if your cell phone is no good, this thing will actually pick up 200 feet away from wherever your Bluetooth is. So they upped the ante on that. And it also has a USB-C uh, charger installed in the radio. So if you're trying to listen to the radio and your phone's dying and you're on a job site, you'll be able to charge your phone while you're out in the job site. So that's that's crazy. Like yeah. the new radio that came out, just the last one, the 18 volt, I think it was like a, the job, was site. Like a job site pack out type thing. This thing's much smaller and apparently has a lot better sound to it. So And another fun fact about this, if you are in this, um, and you have, you're on a job site or you're in a shop and y'all like to have loud music and you and your buddy like the same music, you can link them together. You can link up 200 of the speakers oh, wow. together at the that's, same that's time. And if it's not just that speaker, there's a new speaker that we're gonna transition into right now, which is a M12 Bluetooth job site pack out compatible speaker right here that you can also use with this speaker. So in this pack out speaker, it's gonna be M12 powered. It does have a pack out mount on it, so you can stick it on the top of your pack out. But if you're not a pack out guy, you can just set it on there. It does have a magnetic strip on the side, and then it also has a little clip that you can use as well. But you're also, like Matt said, you're gonna get the Bluetooth with this 200 feet away in the range. And then it also has the same auto link technology that I was talking about. And you can link up a hundred of these at the same time. And on a 4.0 battery at max volume, you're going to get 10 hours of runtime on this little itty bitty speaker that you saw. So guys, these are bad to the bone. Milwaukee's always trying to innovate the market and they're always coming out with better tools for you. So we're little over halfway through this video. So guys, if you're not here, make sure you like, subscribe and comment in the middle of this video. Always helps us when you support us. And before we continue, Matt, this next tool, we've done a lot. This is the perfect time to release this video because this next tool is 
What are you? What are we gonna sell that to? Who's the best market to sell that to? The fan. Yeah. Oh, the mechanics for sure. Yeah. Yeah, the mechanics for sure. They're sitting over the top of the car and they are just completely exhausted because they're just in the hot heat. We are in the hot heat. We've had 95 degree temperatures in our warehouse, but not in our office. So. Uh, this next tool, I'm going to pop this up on the screen. This is a revised version of the 18-volt fan. One thing big about it is it puts out 20.5 miles an hour, guys. That's like six more miles per hour than the old fan. It has a variable speed on it, and one thing that is awesome that they did, they actually put a wall plug on this because now you can plug this into your extension cord and you can run it all day if you don't have a battery or you can take it camping with you. You don't have to have that stupid little cord that costs 50 bucks if you lose it. Uh, three hours of runtime on absolute high on a 5.0 battery. It has a brushless motor, so you're going to get longer runtime. It also rotates 290 degrees, guys, so you're going to be able to turn this thing upside down. If you've got a motorcycle guy like myself and you ride dirt bikes and your helmet is uh, sweaty, every time you come in for a loop, you can throw the fan right on your helmet right on top of the fan, dry your helmet out, go out and hit the next loop. So, guys, think about that. If you're a race car guy out there, you're probably experiencing the same thing. Uh, that fan is going to work out real well, and it's also pack-out compatible, too. So it has pack-out mounts, but it also has wall mounts on it also. I don't want to forget about the wall mount system. So if you are in your garage, you can mount it somewhere up there. So uh, that's all I really know about the fan, but there's one other fan that's out there that's been out for a little while, and I don't think we really have to go over a whole lot of stats on that because uh, we got them sitting on the shelf right there. Yeah, we've done a bunch of videos about He's talking about the big pack-out. 16-inch, uh, I believe, stackable the stackable fan yeah. that you can stack them and take them with you, make it easier to maneuver. But that's the big bad boy. It's going to push air a lot further and give you a lot more distance on that. But the really exciting thing that we want to talk about, we, we've already talked about the fans, but this tool we actually saw, we were one of the first people to see yeah. this tool. We're going to probably pop a video. Oh, we're going to pop up our B-roll video of this. So we shot this video that you're seeing right now in May. Yeah. So we shot this when we went to Milwaukee. Y'all saw the boom light video, but this was probably the most eye-catching light for Matt and I mm. because this is going to compete with your Cyclops lights, your small lights that you can use, your little floodlights. Literally this thin. Yes. It literally is thinner than your iPhone. Yeah. It's about the thickness of yeah. your iPhone. But with this light, you're going to get not just the usability of it being small, but it also has so many different mounting ways you can do. Most of them are just magnetic. This one, you have a magnetic strip on it. You can literally set it up in any direction you want, and it's going to be able to sit up there. And then you also have that D-ring clip on it where you can unclip like a it, a carabiner clip, and then you can stick it on to anything you want to. So with this light, you're going to get 500 lumens of their TrueView high-definition output. You have three modes to manage the runtime and the brightness of it, and then you have up to 12 hours on one charge on that's this pretty, battery. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, and this guy isn't a M18 tool, M12 tool, a USB 3.0 tool. This is just a chargeable, rechargeable USB-C light. And this light, I think we're probably going to pre-order probably 100 of these, yeah, you yeah, think, yeah. because exactly. these are going to fly off the yeah, shelf. Yeah, they're going to come in somewhere around 99 bucks or something like that, yep. which is very affordable for uh, something made by Milwaukee that has the TrueView uh, LED technology in which, it, which is basically like the sun. And it's lifetime, lifetime warranty on the true view on the led yeah, yeah okay last picture we'll put up is of the boom light we could probably put a video up there of us using that i think some of you guys that may have seen that on tiktok i don't know if you've seen it on youtube but we'll put a picture of that up here and i'll let the video just take over from there about the explanation of what it is brand new from milwaukee guys is the 2129 light that is fully extendable guys this light is a monster i got a few things that i want to show you first thing right here it has a magnetic base right here on the bottom and i know you're going to say shavings will stick to this but they give you a little rubber boot that you can pull this off so you can stick this on your fancy toolbox i want to show you just how strong the magnets are we don't really have a lot of metal in here we'll walk over here to this door frame this thing has a 200 magnet strength magnet on it so i'm gonna put that on here and guys i'm literally gonna pull on it and if you think i'm faking it check it it takes that much force to pull it off that's not how they designed it they gave you a little kickstand handle right here you pull on this it reduces it by 30 percent or reduces it to a 30 pound pull and it's easy to take off so this light will extend all the way out it has an on off switch here that you can turn this thing right here on rotate this around anywhere you want it to go underneath the car also has the magnets right here on top this is going to sell for somewhere around 279 dollars we're going to be doing pre-orders on these you can pick these up at textchoicetools.com go to our website in the pre-order section order the light get them on order you'll get them first if you're the first to place your order thank you guys so much for your business you guys have a great day hey guys this next tool that we have right here is the 
chain yeah. hoist. I don't really know much about a chain hoist, what you're gonna use it for or what you need it for, but I know Matt's been in the tool business a long time, so he's probably sold a few of them, so I'm gonna let him take it away. Guys, the chain hoist is gonna come in. Uh, you'll see some pictures of it right here. Guys, this thing picks up 2,204 pounds, okay? That is a lot of weight. That is not what a motor weighs. That is what some of the cylinders weigh on some of the D8 uh, excavators and stuff like that out there. So if you're in the heavy duty industry, you're gonna wanna check this thing out and share this with someone because the chain hoist is a battery operated chain hoist that picks up one ton. It comes with a wireless remote it's also one key compatible so a little bit about one key compatible is it will allow you to turn the tool on or turn the tool off and it'll also allow you to track the tool when a tool when a tool costs that much money connor you definitely want to be able to track it 100 percent. you want to be able you can set up a geo fence at a job site if it ever leaves the job site it'll no, notify you on your phone a lot of cool features on the job site but here's the most impressive part is the thing only weighs 46 pounds so if you're carrying something around i believe it actually fits inside of a pack out it does roll around that's how you buy it, it fits inside of a pack out roll around and you can take it with you so people aren't really going to be able to see it to steal it and uh you're going to be able to use this on the job site to get cylinders get motors get whatever you don't want to use if you don't have a tractor handy or a crane you can't afford a service truck with a crane you can hook this thing to a big old tree and uh pull, pull something out so the chain hoist is going to be big we already have one sold we're just waiting on it to get here so shout out to tim over there at parks group for uh ordering ordering that first chain hoist to come in so guys that's about it for our pack out we do want to offer one thing if you don't follow us on social media on tiktok it is at text choice tools on tiktok and it is at text choice on instagram we just put these out for sale yesterday uh, we had these for 69. We overbought and missed forecast. And guys, this is everything from a stand, uh, from a quarter inch all the way to a 15 16 Just that wobble costs $20 on my tool truck. So guys, you can pick that up. This whole entire set for $45. It comes with a bit driver that you can put in your bit driver and it comes with an extension. So a great deal on that. The cheapest person online is like $90 yeah. and we are 45. So. We're, 50 uh, we're off. definitely throwing the discount out there if yeah. you know what I'm if you know what I mean. Guys, I was editing the video and I realized my SD card ran out of storage. So my ending of the video about this did not get in there. So here we are now again the next day. So this right here is the Milwaukee underbody car light. So this Milwaukee underbody light is the one that has the magnetic magnetic arm on it that you can stick your nuts and bolts, your lug nuts, whatever you want on it. It can swivel all the way under the car on your lift. But this tool, the reason why it's such a good deal from us is online bear tool is 179. The kit is 279 everywhere. This is the kit. We have about 10 of them left in stock. We're going to sell these to you for $179. So you're going to buy the kit for the bear tool price from textchoicetools.com. So guys, we appreciate you watching this video. We have a lot more exciting videos and different things we're gonna be posting about stuff that you saw at Pipeline. So guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you go follow us on our other social medias and we hope you all have a great rest of your week.